What's up my friends and family? I'm just giving you a preview of what I've shopped. I want to show you what I usually do on a grey London day like this. Just before it started raining, I planted two runner beans and four French dwarf beans. And that's basically because I went to an art show last night and she, um, Mother Art gave me some uh, beans to plant and the artist, Denise, forgetting her last name, said she would use it if they grow. So I'm hoping that in my front garden, they're gonna grow. So I'm gonna show you what I brought at the shop, vegan. So we're back in my beloved bedroom. Just a little twist and turn, that's my desk, my bed, and then I've got a sink in my room. It's quite nice, a double bed, big room, TV. So, as I was saying outside, Denise Harrison was given these beans to plant, and um, she's going to use them in her art, I hope. Anyway, I'm going to show you my food haul, vegan food haul. Here it is. Um, so let me show you through what I've got exactly. This is like my fresh veg. These, this, these are really good for spiralizing. If you know what that is, you basically turn a big uh, marrow or courgette like this into spaghetti. Uh, I tried to buy organic without um, any packaging and stuff. Organic celery, it tastes way better. Cucumber, I make sure I peel this, even with the plastic off, gotta peel it because there is wax over it. For some reason, I don't know why they do that in the UK. And um, organic potatoes, got sweet potatoes too. Spring onions, cherry tomatoes, curly kale, red lentils, ground flax. Really important because the seeds you can't really absorb. I got something new here. It's by Upton and it's Satan, but um, it's bacon. Satan bacon. I don't know the right way to say it, if it's Satan or Satan. Who knows? But anyway, it's great source of protein. It's not got any oil in it, which I'm happy about. Should be smoky bacon. I have not eaten in three years bacon. <laughs> so sorry, Mr. Bacon. I've been looking at some cheaper ways of getting berries because organic, I don't think will matter that much. Especially because most of the food we eat now has been slightly genetically modified. So, yeah, home brand uh, berries. They will do, I've got two of those. Should last me a week. Some shiitake mushrooms. Another good brand, Be Free. Be Free. They do loads of gluten-free options, if that's something that you like. Um, I... I just buy it because it's sort of interesting and it's, uh, <laughs> you know, too much gluten isn't good for anyone. So that's that. And as I was saying, these chickpeas obviously have been changed. They're, they didn't used to be white or if they were, they've been selectively bred um, to be like a juicier, bigger chickpea. But they are organic. So... Anyway, they're great in cartons. If you can find them in cartons, just a little tip, go to Sainsbury's if you want the cartons. And then you don't have to buy everything from there. It's just where I've gone today. And um, yeah, cartons of tomato sauce I am suggested to buy because loads of tomatoes with the skins. I know I've got some cherry tomatoes, but they're just good in salads. And um, 
then also including all my like kitchen stuff like cling film and sponges I've included in this and some almond butter 100% always make sure that my nut butters are 100% so there's not sea salt or oil in them and all of that came to £48.86 so it's quite a lot and oh I didn't say also tofu that's a must a nice big block of it <laughs> um, anyway I'll see you downstairs boom we're back in the kitchen Ooh, it's not so bad today it does get worse it does get worse indeed it's been raining outside so I can't show you the garden tour we actually have kittens baby kittens they keep coming litters and litters of them just loads and loads of kittens you might be wondering where I've been. I've just come back from Italy. I've been in London for a week. I've been editing your videos, putting them on YouTube. So check the other ones out. You also might be wondering why the shop was actually quite cheap, considering, you know, that I'm eating healthily and it only was 50 pounds. What I do is I buy bulk amounts of pasta. You have to go to a superstore not like just a supermarket but like a super store market and I've got two kilograms of these oats uh, five kilos of brown rice and then also about five kilos of brown pasta and that's great because I don't have to keep buying them it doesn't matter how much I cook I don't have to you know, tip a whole bag and worry about how much space is in here, it's all organised. Um, also, just so you know, I do supplement protein. I, t I take about a scoop a day of the Vivo Life Perform Protein. So just so you know, I know, <laughs> I know it's a big brand these days, but it's really good. It's got like fermented pea protein, so it's healthy. It's not a, uh, you know, monohydrate or something and um, yeah I also take some creatine I got this from Holland and Barrett and it's vegan it's certified it says um, now suitable for vegans which is great because you know if you don't take it too much it's not going to be too bad for your kidneys your liver or those digestive tracts and um, yeah, I'm going to make a full English breakfast. I can't wait to eat it, and I can't wait to see what it's like, because in my family, we always have full English breakfast. And um, seeing as I've just fasted, I've gone to the shop. These bags were heavy. It's about two miles there and back, so <laughs> my traps are like, ooh, they were on fire. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to show you the, well, maybe I'll show you some of the cooking process if it's difficult. But I'm going to use that seitan bacon, those shiitake mushrooms. I've got to pack this away and I'll see you when I start cooking. I've just seen a little kitten though. There it is. There's a little black kitten disappearing over there. Over there. Oh. Anyway, follow my Snapchats. Jude Wood, follow my Snapchats, that's my name. This is the channel, Wooden Half. See you when we're cooking. So, I'm all set up to cook. But uh, as I was doing my laundry, there's been a couple questions that have been racking my mind. First of all, yeah, I'm open to answering personal questions. And, um, yeah, and I hope to show you all of those, the, the, all of those personal happenings, as it were, live, you know? So I've just done my laundry, and I had a thought. I just want to show you my Brompton bike. <laughs> That's all it is. My Brompton bike um, is great, because I live in a student home, and also my mum lives... Uh, in London, so I can go to and from on the train, everywhere. The kittens are wild kittens. 
back just there. There's tiny little tabby ones. Uh, can't even zoom in and show you. But anyway, it's like things like where do you get your protein from? All of those questions about veganism, you can send me um, questions on Instagram and um, obviously I can directly answer that. I'm just going to show you my cooking process. This is going to have loads of protein, like more so than you know a regular meal of just like pasta and just like tomato sauce. So yeah, this is going to be great. Um, I'm going to show you the full cooking process. First off, I need to get a red onion. I've got everything laid out here that I'm going to use. So also I've got some sauerkraut, which is great for your gut health. I'm going to improvise some baked beans here in the pan with some of this uh, basil and oregano tomato sauce. I've got toast, this gluten-free, simply seeds and grains bread. As you can see, it's quite a dense bread. And um, that's going to make a really good toast. Traditionally, you have sort of like mushrooms there. Maybe like some other fried things. I'm not using oil. Um, I might use a pinch of salt now and again just to enhance the flavour. Uh, also going to sort of toast more than anything. Toast and fry tomatoes, mushrooms and pepper. And some spinach. I'm going to wilt it down. And I've got bacon. So it's a real deal. And the tofu is going to make like an eggy scramble. So that's going to be really good. I've got to get this red onion from somewhere. I think I've got one in the fridge. So this is the hallway. I'm lucky to have my own fridge. Really, really lucky. Some of these roommates I have. Um, hi guys. <laughs> I have to share a fridge. But I landed in a pot of luck. Anyway, I'm going to chop up this onion with you there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Sit back and watch the magic. So I like to have something like just to put all the compost in. So I'm gonna chop the onion in half, because they're hard to peel, these ones. I know there's lots of different techniques to chopping onions. I personally follow Simnet Nutrition's method, because they suit my onions. So that's what I'm gonna do. What he does is peel them, get all the hard skin off, obviously, you can't cook or eat those parts. So that's all of it. I've got some curry flavouring that's got garlic in there. Because onion and garlic usually are the foundations of the sauce. I don't even know what I'm cooking right now. Um, oh yeah, the baked beans. So yeah, what I've done is, I've cut it in half this way twice, and then alongside it three times. I left the nub on, and cut that at the end. Because now I've got like this grid, which I can just dice through, and it makes a really nice onion mince. Yeah. That's some chef te terminology. I worked in a kitchen for a good part of eight months or so. A local restaurant. I didn't do much chefing, I was more like cleaning dishes. But yeah, same to the other side. Halfway through. This way. Two times. Obviously cut it on the board. And then down. A couple. A few times. And then mince into diced pieces. Obviously don't, again, have the end. 
I just put that in my compost. Boom. Now let's turn the gas on. I'm using this pan. Ooh, I didn't cry. <laughs> I guess uh put loads of room. So yeah, if my uh roommates come down, they will. <laughs> Right now, I'm doing a chef vlog. Oh, nice. Vegan vlog. <laughs> yeah, so everyone here in my house is um, plant based. But there is uh, one of our new roommates, Maddie, who is vegetarian. And we're trying to convert her. It will happen. But yeah, Nala's vegan. Celine and Alan, who I'm sure you'll meet, they are both vegan together with um, with me. Cool. So, onions and goat, like I said, no oil, just a splash of water does the trick. And I've got that going, you can sort of pan it and flip it. So that's going. I'm going to drain the beans so they are ready to go in. Also, they're quite tricky to open these cottons. So, you want to drain these out, so I'm going to use a sieve to drain the beans from the aquafaba and then the tomato sauce I'm opening just in case I'm gonna get that curry powder coming and going in so sieve beans rinse and rinse them around get all of it off these are black beans so they're great for protein, but also they're like anti-carcinogenic, full of iron and fiber. I've noticed people sort of started to advertise fibrous functional fiber, which sounds even worse than the, uh, the topic it really explains. Oh damn, I'm gonna have to edit that part out, I know. So, onions are going, they're not kind of brown and soft yet. Nevertheless, I'm gonna put this pepper to the test. So, um, oh gosh, I should've shown you that. But I push down the stalk and then pop it out. It didn't even work properly, so you didn't. <laughs> you don't miss anything, don't worry. We all know the trick. Also, it's good to clean produce, so I'm gonna do that. And, um, just so you know, that a lot of red fruits and vegetables have the most pesticides on them, just because naturally, Animals are more attracted to sort of vibrant colours, red being one of them. And the pests can see that they their red peppers are on show, all growing and all. So they attack them. Anyway, I've just sliced the pepper into kind of julienne julienne style, and then I'm gonna go across dice them, put them in the onions, eventually, same for the spring onions, sort of chop off those end parts, you can keep the green, 
I like to get rid of that kind of chopped part somebody else has cut on and just give them a good old chopping. Make sure you cut them all the way through with a sharp knife. Next up will be the mushrooms. So this is what I'm talking about when it comes to uh, spices. It's really easy curry powder. Just got everything in there. I don't have to chop up a load of garlic uh, or ginger. It's got uh, turmeric, cumin, chili powder, coriander seeds, fennel seeds, mustard seeds, paprika, onion powder, cardamom, cloves, black pepper, and bay leaves. So everything just like that going in. Cool. So I don't know how I'm going to use all of these ingredients, but I know that they are going into one thing. So, I reckon I should start putting these peppers down in here. I'm going to save my spring onions for a sort of green topping spicy flavour not so spicy but tasty um, that's not to say that chilli I just don't want it super spicy right now don't know why I don't feel like it and frozen veggies they are great they are great to add some volume and nutrients to your food but seeing as we've got fresh beans I'm just going to use fresh beans. I've got another person. I'm also going to drain the tofu. So I hope this is like a 15 minute meal. I haven't really aimed to do that. But I reckon it will work. So black beans in. Um, I've just drained the tofu. In goes the tomatoes, and that's going to make a huge pan of baked beans. I hope you don't mind saving some later. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> Have you seen my other videos? I know, yeah. No. Better have a chance for dinner this week. Yeah. Close every day. Yeah. All right, this is called a spoon, and it can stir. I often get told off using metal spoons on pans. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've got loads of wooden spoons anyway. What are we gonna do about them? No, no. We're wooden spoons. We should freaking throw it away. I don't know. I, I use them. Cool. So baked beans are ready. You will love this. Bacon. Oh nice. But it's healthy bake it's actually healthy bacon. No joke. Jokes aside. I never actually used to like bacon. Like Oh as it was. Before I went my mother. Yeah, my sister didn't either. So I'm used to I'm used to the preferences of people. <laughs> I've got nine siblings, so that's just one of my one of my siblings. Sister. And yeah, too salty she said. What do you mean like? That's what I said actually. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, no added salt so far. Apart from that curry powder. Yeah, and chill out. See you. Cheers now. Um yeah, now it's a bar man. I'm sure he'll be in more videos. So yeah, I just put in the spinach. So that's gonna be like baked beans spinach. That's gonna be so good. And so, 
Okay, this is where my mama does it. Let's heat up the pan. This is kind of like a wok style frying pan. That's heating up. I'm gonna take a, an advised serving of bacon, so that should be like, I don't know, five rashes of bacon? Which is amazing, that's like, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 grams of protein, which is a lot, considering it's just vegan, and I don't know about normal, pro normal protein in bacon. Uh, I say normal, but like the ordinary idea of what people think bacon consists of. Um, seitan itself is made out of wheat gluten. So if you're gluten intolerant, obviously that there there is other options. You can resort to tofu. Or like tofurkey. Tofurkey is a great option. So yeah, this is the bacon getting ready. I'm not sure if I should have even done that. You know, I've never cooked these before. And then mushrooms. A tip for mushrooms is um, is some sunlight. You know, because you can leave these mushrooms out in the sun and they'll reabsorb the light and um, obviously give you a little bit more vitamin D. So as you can't observe, in the pan we've got mushrooms and the bacon, they're going to start to simmer. This is just like a non-stick pan, so I'm not using any oil, like zero oil at the moment, which is great because that's meaning less calories, less digestive issues. And the rest of it. So, all the mushrooms in. I've got my avocado. I'm going to put the toast on toast. What do you think? Two slices of toast? You know, this is a lot of food already. Yeah, and I've only got four. So, <laughs> yeah. Two slices of toast. Amazing. Is it working? Is it toasting? It's toasting. I rarely use that toaster. I don't really trust it. Don't bl burn your shit. Don't burn the shit. Okay. So bacon back in the box. Tofu scramble. What you do is get your tofu. And you just crumble it in. Crumble it in. And I've just kind of guesstimated, you know, a third of it, a third of the block will do me fine. Turn down the heat, make sure it does not burn. And then tomatoes. Obviously wash them, okay. Don't forget. So there we go, wash the tomatoes. Maybe chop them in half. These are cherry tomatoes, so they're gonna be like beautifully sweet. Like no matter which ones you get, even if they're not kind of taste the difference or something of that sort, they're gonna taste great. Oh my god, my mom's gonna be so proud of this. Guys. It's the first time I've cooked a full English vegan breakfast. And um, it smells great. So, be proud of me. So that's everything. Now we're cooking. Alright. So that's smelling like an English breakfast. I, I smell egg. I smell that kind of tomato-y thing coming from the baked beans. I've not made a huge mess, which is obviously a bonus. All of this can go back in the fridge. I've got an avocado, that's gonna look like an egg. 
and it's going to behave like one too. So, oh, that's great. The stone. That's that's what you get for non-organic. So the stone is just disappeared in the middle. Toast is done. Toast on the plate. Toast on the plate. Get that funky stone out of the middle. The Evo. What I'm going to do is just slice it through. Mind your hand, don't get avocado hand. It's a proper condition. And. Woo! Almost did it. So, half an avocado? What do you think? Half an avocado. I think two, I think the whole avocado, to be honest. Yeah, okay, messy, messy. Give it a good scrape. Not try anything yet, it's gonna try this baked beans. Don't burn the mouth. Bacon's definitely done. Mmm. Amazing, those baked beans are really good. Good heat kick in the background. Okay, here comes the other stone. Oh gosh. Come on. I'm rushing so I can eat, but also prove that this is a quick recipe. Because I don't usually do this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, lately I've been doing loads of different things that I never do. I did a live performance at... Um, Hackney Wick Theatre Studios. That's not its. Uh, that's not the proper name for it. It's just Hackney Wick Store Ten Road, and every Sunday of uh, every first Sunday of a month, they have a kind of live gig. Live gig in it. So I'm going to put my bacon over that on the toast. Great. And the tofu is looking a bit pale, flavourless. So I'm going to put some more curry flavouring on that. Picking out these bacon bits. Amazing. Then we've got the mushrooms and the tofu scrambling. Looking delicious. <laughs> Some of the curry, 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 curry. Boom. My baked beans look well reduced and ready to go. Just waiting on this scramble and, and boom, we'll, we'll be done. So in the meantime, this can go in the compost. Right, I don't have compost, just a bin. But just so you know, don't worry if you don't. I feel like it's just going to decompose within the bin place. So like in the landfill, it's going to make more soil. So it's kind of good. It's kind of like fertilizing that general waste area. So I think this is done. This is ready to plate up. I'm going to give this place a tidy. I'm going to look on chronometer and tell you all of the details. But just after I plate up, this is what I have so far. So the toast, the bacon, the avo. This is the mushroom, tomato, tofu, and the baked beans, baked black beans. With a bit of sauerkraut. So I'll show you the plate up. So here we are, the full English with hey jude matcha green tea glass of water too uh the sauerkraut also has like carrot and red pepper in there so it's such a good thing and um i'm gonna look in chronomy to see how much it's all gonna add up to anyway i'm gonna show you the almighty flavor test 
Oh gosh, it's so hard to pick. Privacy, please. Okay. So, mushrooms, tomato. Let's get a bit of that bacon. Bacon review. Mmm. Optin has got it right. It's not crispy bacon. But it's a kind of... It tastes like bacon, like smoky bacon. Very good, I'm gonna enjoy this so much. I haven't tried the taste on camera. Mm-hmm. Straight away that bread is so tasty. Really indulgent, this meal. I mean, it's, it's kind of like dinner, isn't it? But in the morning, <laughs> what time is it? Yeah, <laughs> not in the morning, it's 2.44. I'm going to Whitstable so you see some more videos of the seaside. Oh man, I feel so serene about this. Right. I'm going to show you the chronometer in a minute. Right, I'm just going to enjoy this. Thank you. So here we go everyone. As you can see, it is hitting some numbers. Quite a big meal. Almost 900 calories, and as you can see, I've not I've not even finished it yet. I'm just sort of more enjoying my tea now. But that's uh, yeah, 112% um, of iron, 50% of your calcium, 75% of vitamin C, 112% folate, 65% of my daily targets already. In just one meal. Um, great, got loads of omega three, and um, it's hitting pretty much everything. I don't know why. Um... Oh right, so I've forgotten to add um, mushrooms. It's quite easy. What you do is you go um, click add food, type in what you need. So shiitake. Shiitake. Shiitake mushrooms. And, um, yeah, I just basically added the amount. So I had about, um, no, not that much, but probably. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, actually. It's looking like a thousand calories. And the great thing is, you can count up your protein as well. So this has almost got 50 grams of protein. A lot of the meals I'm eating recently almost have 50 grams of protein. And look, I haven't even added the, sa the sa seitan. Seitan, bacon, Bacon strips, and I had about a hundred grams. No, serving fifty, about sixty grams. So now we're into sixty-three point eight grams of protein. You see that? No problem. And that's eighty percent of my pretty much daily target maintenance target at um, eighty grams. But really, I want to be hitting somewhere into. 120 grams with the majority of it being protein to build muscle that's that's my aim but everything else you can see 66% of all the targets that's what I've consumed this is my deficit at the moment I had a fasted workout I'm gonna finish this off now and um, yeah this is my desk quite messy yeah, follow me on YouTube. I'll show you my account. I know it's not the easiest name, but this this is my account here. The wooden half underscore half. Here are all my videos at the moment. Tennis court, wall climbing, uh, pizza oven, 
Flo two Florence adventures. There's Sienna as well. I know that I've go to I go to see Sienna. I've got Den in the Life. Uh, visit to Tate, not so great. And then like a workout video here and there. So I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And for more um, recipes, see the description and the further video vlog I've got left to do. So yeah, any comments are much appreciated. Thank you. Bye.